Good morning, everyone. It, it, well, it's nearly 12 o'clock, so maybe not good morning. Maybe not. If I sound out of breath, it's because I'm feeling quite anxious today. Yesterday was the day when we shot like the campaign and stuff like that. Um, it was a Friday, I think. <laughs> and at the moment, I'm just feeling very, very anxious in my chest. And I've never tried to go for a run with anxiousness, but I feel like I have a lot of energy that I need to get out. So I'm gonna try this as a form of like relaxing me and calming me down. I'm gonna be going through a bit of an anxious time, I think, over the next few weeks, but um, it's gonna be character building and I'll look back on this point and I'll be like, you grew from that, Lydia. So that was a good thing. <laughs> but um, this morning I need to get up, I need to, which I've done, funnily enough, I'm up. Um, I need to go for a run. Um, I need to have my smoothie. I have a lot of stuff that needs to be done around the kitchen. There are two very sweaty looking plants there that have been left out in the sun. They arrived yesterday. There's some English lavender. I want to start feeding in some more lavender into the flower beds around the house. So um, I'm just ordering as and when it's in stock basically and I'm gonna be planting them as well. Um, I need to repot the sprutlings into some new, very beautiful aged terracotta pots. These arrived a couple of days ago and I'm obsessed with them. I um, will link them in the description box because I think that lots of you will want them as well, but I have really struggled to get them. Um, I've already put my mint into, oh, this is looking a little bit sad. Oh, very dry. Okay, let's get some water on that. Oh yes, before I go for my run, I feel like I'm never gonna get to go on this run. Where's my watering can? I need to repot this one because it's actually suspended in this um, pot. All of the water is going to run through to the bottom. It's not going to sit there, if that makes sense. It's not going to like have a little like basin of water to go into. So I'm going to repot that with some more compost today as well. This one's perfect, but I couldn't get another one of um, these pots like this size. But I love them. They are so gorgeous. I decided yesterday that I wasn't going to um, water them and see how they did if I was like over watering them. But I actually think I need to give them a little bit of water every day so that they're happy because to me it doesn't look as happy as it usually does. But they're doing great! <laughs> I'm also going to repot these, like I said, but I'm also going to pl start planting the other ones. So I'm going to use these pots to plant my new ones. So I'll have chives in one of them, watercress in one, and um, the parsley in another one. It'll give them a good little start in life. And then hopefully I can get them some more little terracotta pots. I know I usually look like a bit of a hot mess in the mornings, but I don't know if my skin is looking more hydrated to you, but I have just used three products. I used them last night and I woke up and I touched my skin and I was like, this could be that you are sort of coming out the back end of your no normal sort of PMT stuff, Lydia, but my skin feels incredible thanks to this. I'm using the Capture Total range and um, I've literally used it like twice. So I'm gonna keep going because I just wanna know if it like has any reactions with my skin. Um, but at the moment, my skin feels so hydrated and it looks hydrated and my skin gets so dry because of like fake tanning and things like that. It's one of those things that I'm like, I do suffer with and I've been looking for things that are gonna like really hydrate my skin. So we're starting off well, we're starting off well, but not well on our run. So I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna get this energy out of me and do a lot of thinking. These are purely for effect. Um, I'm not gonna be listening to music and just zone out. So I will see you guys in a bit unless I decide to chat to you on my run. I am back from my run. It's 6k and it did exactly what I needed it to do. I had nothing but my thoughts and my mind and I feel a lot better. I don't think I look it though. <laughs> Yeah, but I definitely feel it. I'm gonna obviously make my normal smoothie, but I have no soy milk. Who knew that there was two different types of soy milk? One that goes off and one that doesn't. So I ordered myself a whole load of soy milk that then went off. Um, but I'm gonna make myself this. I'm gonna get myself in the shower. And crack on with getting my plants sorted. <laughs> right, this is about as good as it's gonna get today. I couldn't be bothered to do my hair. And these guys need my help. They're like sweating, I think. So let's get them unpacked, let's get them some water. 
and we can look at getting them in the uh, in the ground for starters. Um, we've also got a really nice evening plan today. We've got the brothers supper delivering like a, some gourmet three course kind of meal to us that we have to put together not put together but like it's all cooked we just sort of have to sort it out they're a company in Milton Keynes but I think the, the head chef is actually from our wedding venue so um that's a really nice connection as well so I think they're going to be dropping that off at some point so that we can have a really nice dinner but in that time I'm going to focus on looking after my little sprutlings So what we have here is the Lavangula angustifolia platinum blonde. A truly beautiful lavender with powder blue flowers in summer and vibrant ver <laughs> variegated foliage attracts bees and butterflies into the garden, ideal for patio pots or garden planting, hardy evergreen and easy to grow. I love that it's told me exactly what I need to do. Brilliant. Oh, I've got my soil bag that my husband just brought me. Thanks babe. Can I have a spade? Thank you. Oh. What I've realised is that these guys are basically outgrowing their training pots. So these are their training pots, kind of like a training potty and they're going into their big pots. So they're big potties. And then these guys are going to go into their training pots so that they hopefully become big sprutlings one day. mid-planting I've got dirt in my fingernails but our dinner has been delivered from the brothers supper I'll link them down below so basically what it is either needs to go in the oven or it needs to go in the microwave but everything else is prepared it comes with full instructions this is going to be a test they've asked us to let them know what we think and um, if we think it's easy so I'm going to give this a bit of a go for our dinner. I don't know if I have to do it now. Let's get it open and see what we've got first and foremost. How do I, oh gosh, those alfalfa sprouts are doing the most. Ooh. So, salmon salad, something sauce, pistachio cream, <laughs> crispy potato, patatas bravas, Strawberry salad. Oh, okay. Instructions. Oh my god, it smells incredible. This is their lockdown tasting menu, number three, for Saturday the 30th of May. Become a brother's supper chef for the night and allow us to bring the restaurant to you. Canapes, crispy lamb scrumpet in minted chili sauce, Asian spiced duck goyoza and kimchi mayo sweet potato fritters and coriander yogurt, and chickpea and red pepper falafel, and basil alioli. Then there's a brother's supper's potatoes bravas. So then to start, you can either have the confit salmon or the English tomato. So basically we would have picked from these. So here are the instructions. That's the menu. And these are, thank you for choosing. Below we have written simple, easy to follow cooking instructions. You only need an oven and a microwave to cook your food. You will need to preheat your oven to 180 degrees C and have available the following. One sharing board or serving tray for canapes, one small bowl, brilliant, okay. There's literally instructions for every single part. Right, looks like we're doing this together because Ali is working upstairs, so. Ali doesn't want the food just yet, so I popped it in here. We've got everything in sort of order. I just fit it in where I can, unfortunately. <laughs> My fridge is quite full. I'm going to focus on repotting this little guy for a while, and then we're gonna get those guys into the ground. I've left these two pots for a moment because I'm probably gonna get quite dirty when I do those two. So I'm gonna go and tidy up the kitchen, put everything away, do the dishwasher. Um, have a sort out, get everything organized again, um, put some washing on, and then I will start on the lavender because 
this is probably more important at this moment. So if they can sit there in their soggy little pots, <laughs> I'm not gonna sort this out. I'm multitasking a bit at the moment. Um, I'm currently in the washing machine, which looks like a laundrette. There is a lot of stuff everywhere. I'm doing a lot of like wash loads at the moment, but when I do sheets, I tend to use my favorite conditioner, which is the Dalesford one. But for everything else, I use Comfort. I just like my sheets to smell of lavender. Um, this needs to be folded. This needs to be folded. This all needs to be sorted out. I'm gonna finish off in here get everything sorted because then I'm gonna start making dinner at 5.30. Ali's still working, he's got a lot of stuff to do. So my job is house and food. <laughs> I've had a good old kitchen tidy up, so now it's time to start on this. So we're gonna do the canapes first. Oh gosh, <laughs> I hope this goes well. Step one is the canapes. I'm going to put these in this tin into a hot oven. And whilst I do that, I'll prep what they'll be served on. They'll be in there for eight minutes and I'll also prep the amuse-bouche. We've done the um, canapes. I had a bit of confusion over the dips. So um, we weren't too sure on them and that they're all sort of labeled a bit differently to what was said on the menu. So we just tried to decipher which ones, but the patatas bravas are in the oven now and then I'm gonna put the sauce in. We only have one pot of alioli, but it said it was on two things. So I've saved it for this one, for the amuse-bouche, but I think that maybe this is, I don't know what the herbs are though. I can't find the herbs. <laughs> I have no idea. We are on to the amuse-bouche. Amuse-bouche. Yes, that carnage behind me, well, behind Ali is me. <laughs> we are on to our starters. Ali has the salmon and I have the goat's cheese. On to the main course. We've got pie yes. and potatoes in there. I put them in for eight minutes. Okay. I'm gonna put the meat in for, for me, 15 minutes. For you, eight minutes. How long is that going in for? 18 minutes. And how long is that going for? I just told you. Eight minutes for you, 15 minutes for me. You better put that in then. No, no, I will once the eight minutes is up. Okay, you're on it. I'm on it, I'm on it. It's best just to leave one chef in the kitchen. Yeah, you don't want too many chefs in the kitchen. So what's been your favorite thing so far? I Ooh. think, for me, the goat's cheese. That was, that's like one of the best goat's cheese, I've ever, if not the best goat's yeah. cheese I've ever had. Yeah. Um, I wish that the salad was just the strawberries for me, because obviously I don't like tomatoes. Yes. So for me, I would have just but loved I like strawberries. The tomatoes. Yeah. yeah. So I gave Ali my. I had the goat's cheese, but I shared it with Ali, and I gave him enough goat's cheese to have with his with the uh, tomatoes, and I had enough goat's cheese with the strawberries that were in there. Yeah. The mousse bouche was delicious. The mousse bouche was delicious. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a confusion with the. What were the uh, dumpling things? Goyotes. Yeah. Oh my god, they were good. The duck goyotes. Yeah, that was yeah. incredible. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Now we've got pie. Oh, Ooh, pie in the oven. This to go in. We'll have a look then. Do nine minutes for you. Yeah, okay. I'm going to enjoy a glass of my wine in the last bit of sun. Because I've not seen the sun today, have I? No, you haven't. Is this what you're preparing, is it? Are you going to put the sauces into here or? No, no, no. Yeah. That was going to be for the um, sauces for the. Um, Starter. The, no, the canopy. Oh, okay. Because I, yeah. I, I got so confused, I just was like, I'll leave them in the, in yeah. the plastic. Yeah. Yeah. It's easier sauce. to recognise what's what. Ooh, a bit of Bernays on the steaks. Mm -hmm. Potato potato terrinas in there. Oh, yeah, a little panic there, That's didn't we, a Chef? Panic. Oh, pistachio creme. Lovely. Dave, you ready? Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Say that again. No, you always make me repeat myself. <laughs> Say it again. It's really good. Are you enjoying it? It's unbelievable. I'm very impressed. You're not angry at me that I put the Bernays sauce in the microwave? <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> and finally, the chocolate fondant is served. Some may argue that this is the main event. Yeah, I think this is the main event. Depends how you look at it, doesn't it? Yeah. Although I do think this is the main event. Cheers. I'm a bit more of a savoury person than a sweet person. I'm the same. Give me 
warm, fresh, crusty bread oh, and salt. Vinegar. <laughs> oh, olives. Balsamic vinegar. Balsam. Balsam. <laughs> and salted butter. Oh, Ooh. that's the good stuff. I am probably looking a little bit tired now because I feel it in my bones. Um, but dinner was an absolute success. Um, I definitely think there's an easier way for them to label everything. But other than that, the food was delicious. And my alfalfa sprouts definitely agree. I've been out in the garden and I've been doing a little bit of de-weeding. This is one of the only beds that's not hit by our irrigation system. So I've been giving this a bit of a water and finding a place for the lavender to go. But this soil is so tough. It's, I think it's quite clay clay based soil um so i might need to get ali to help me i even got my big watering can out the big dog but i think i'm gonna have to leave it for this evening but i wanted to bring you out here to show you the moon look at it little half moon i'm gonna leave it as it is for the moment and i'm gonna carry on tomorrow i think um hopefully ali is nearly ready upstairs nearly sort of finished off bless him he works he works so hard. I think it probably becomes more apparent to me that he works so hard when he's working on something for me because it takes a lot for someone to work all of the hours that he's worked today for someone else. So I'm gonna close up the kitchen. The dishwasher is on, the washing machine is on, the tumble dryer is on, everything is on. <laughs> and i've watered pretty much everything that i can i've also got my new bowls that i ordered from truly out these are two sort of serving bowls but i really really liked them for fruit however i don't usually have this much fruit um so i've kind of decanted them into two we've got oranges and limes in here and then bananas and lemons in here but i would actually really like them to go in these cubby holes so Perhaps I can sort of look for another fruit bowl because I didn't like my other one. It was too dark, which is a weird thing for me to say. I know, but they look really cute there. Good morning, everyone. I don't know if you can see the level of sweat. There's actually like flies stuck to my forehead that haven't made it. This is probably the worst I've ever looked coming back from a run. My eyes are red because my sweat has dripped into my eyes. We ran heat of the day. Yeah, we, we ran at like midday, which is a silly, silly thing to do. Um, but no running tomorrow, that is for sure, because my legs were so heavy, I could barely like move them. Oh, my eyes are dead. Annie is just making herself some breakfast. I'm gonna make myself a smoothie. I'm, I'm, oh my God, I'm, I can't even believe how much this stings. I'm gonna make myself a smoothie, and then I'm gonna jump in the shower, wash my hair, because wowzers, running in this heat means that your hair does not last when you wash it. I only washed it like 48 hours ago, and it needs, <sighs> It needs some seeing to I can taste my sweat because it's going in my eyes so much. Mm. Hot. This one has emerged from his office to of course show love to his furry favorite. Honestly, it was the funniest thing and I shouldn't laugh, but this morning we woke up at six o'clock to the sound of Lumi doing the thing again and Ali picked her up to get her to the bathroom so she could at least be sick on the bathroom floor rather than on the bed and as he picked her up she just threw up and it just went all over the the her foot as well. all over her own foot she vomed on herself bless her it's weird when the cats are sick they're sick and then that's it they're just like I'm fine again yeah I know like, it feels like it anyway yeah like, acts like low of energy or anything she's just like right ready to go out yeah and nothing happened like nothing happened. Babe, I think we need to move your um, new bird feeder because I haven't seen a single bird there. <laughs> no, no. Huh? Yeah, we, yeah, we have to move it. Ali has come out to inspect my work from yesterday. Do you see I de-weeded? So you might want to put those in the in the gardening bin. Might yeah, because I don't... I love that I'm getting delegated your jobs that you should have finished yesterday, like you're tidying your soil. Well, yeah, if you get me all of the stuff from the shed, I'll make it happen. I don't go in the shed. The shed is not a place for Lydia. Maybe one day I will go in the shed when I spend enough time out in the garden. Lumi's following you, babe. <laughs> She's like, where are you going? Um, yeah, maybe one day when I spend enough time out in the garden, I'll be okay with going in the shed. But um, seeing the size of that spider down here, I'm not sure that's ever gonna happen. Maybe one day I'll um, be over my fear of spiders, but um, 
Not yet. I'm checking on my roses. Oh, actually, these ones are looking a little bit better. My roses don't, they don't seem to have done as well this year. They just look a little bit sad. And it's making me sad. I don't know whether it's because the soil's not been turned over or what, but they definitely, I mean, this one's doing okay. These are our Bengal roses. Look at that. Oh, you're doing it for me. It is, it, for me, I couldn't. Things in there, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. Also, what's that thing going through it? That's a, um, it's like a de an anti-root uh, weed. Oh, okay. Barrier. I thought that might have been the irrigation system. No, so that <laughs> irrigation's water. Yeah, I know. That's, the, that's, a, that's like a, um, a lining that you'd put in to stop weeds growing. Right, working well then. <laughs> well, they eventually get pierced through, don't they? So yeah. this would have been a bed. Okay. Guys, shut the front door after one day. That is a little sprutling already coming through. It's the watercress. <gasps> this is so exciting. <laughs> this is clearly something that I'm quite enjoying, but I didn't expect to see a little sprutling so soon. Oh, <laughs> look at him, his little head. The pinny is on. We've just had cheese and gherkin sandwiches for lunch. It's a little bit of a snack. Ali's taking five out in the garden, which rightly so, he's worked so much this weekend. Um, he's also helped me turn over the soil so I can get my lavender in. I've also got this app on my phone, which I have been using religiously. I think if you're like me and you're coming into a garden that um, you didn't necessarily plant all of it, obviously Ali's grandpa helped us plant a lot of stuff as well but um, there's a lot of things that we just don't know what they are. Also the trees and all of the wildflowers as well. So I've got this app on my, on my phone and I have been using it nonstop. It's called Picture This, which is not what you think it would be called, but basically it costs 20 pounds a year and you go to any plant and you take a picture of it and it tells you exactly what it is, exactly how to care for it and any other information that you might need and identifies the exact type of flower. It's been so handy, so useful, and I've just loved it. So um, I thought I'd share it. I don't know if I can link it in the description box, but it's called Picture This. I'll pop a, uh, a picture of the app icon on screen so that you can see and hopefully find it for yourself. For me, 20 pounds and how useful it is has been, it didn't break the bank for me as someone who's like getting a little bit more into their garden. So anyway, Ali's loosened up the soil. I'm gonna get these lavender plants planted and they're gonna go into the bed here, which is lovely because they need a new home. The babies are in the bed. I have just taken a picture of these with my app though and it says it's a different plant to English lavender. I've got English lavender over here which I can see at the base looks quite similar but not the same so I'm worried that they potentially might have sent me the wrong plant. We're just gonna have to see what unfolds with this aren't we because at the moment the leaves just look slightly different but hey ho <laughs> it says that it's something completely different so hopefully that's not the case the sprinklers are on as well we are um, finishing up in the garden now but Ali's just giving it a good water but this lavender is thriving look at that oh gorgeous we're gonna pop over to our neighbor's house. I took some bits over to them yesterday and um, I need to go and pick up my basket and I think that they've got a bottle of wine for us. Usually when we head over there, it ends with glasses of champagne being consumed. Per wear out of these shoes already is worth it. And I've also not shown you this yet. This is um, a cardigan that arrived the other day from Truly and it is gorgeous. I'm gonna pop it on, it's got little pockets, kind of little bit of cable detailing to the sleeves and the pockets as well, super snugly. So I'm gonna take that with me because we're gonna be sat in their courtyard, um, probably having some, some drinks. We're also going to take a bottle over because you never go empty handed. Oh, hello. 
Hello. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I have just washed my hair and um, I am going to be applying some fake tan and some makeup and all of that good stuff. Um, apologies for how I look. I've also had a, a little bit of a breakout, but I mean, when do I not have a breakout these days? Post that time of the month. Um, I wanted to come on here and just basically say, how are you guys doing? I know I've asked this on my Instagram account and I've got sort of a general consensus of how you're feeling and things like that. Um, the video, the vlog bit of the beginning of this was filmed um, over the weekend. Let me just double check what date that was. The 30th and the 31st. And Ali and I had obviously been shooting and filming and working on uh, Glow over that weekend. So we were very kind of detached from from what was happening on social media. Yeah, so when my brand launch went out on the Monday, I was like, oh no, this shouldn't have happened. Um, I should have had my finger on the pulse a bit more, but we were just heads were in work and we weren't really thinking. Um, so obviously I postponed the launch of Glow and I will update you on the Glow um, like launch later on down the line and you can find out on the on the Instagram account. Obviously I acknowledged what was happening um, at the end of last video, at the end of my last video and I just want to thank everyone for being so understanding and so supportive. Um, I've spent the last week with my husband. Um, we haven't really done a lot other than reading watching informative content and just reflecting a lot of reflection and I know that everyone collectively feels quite drained at the moment from speaking to our friends that everyone feels quite different emotions different levels of emotions and I'm coming to terms with the emotions that I felt around it and the guilt and um, I want to put that into action and I know that lots of us are I, I want to remind people of something that really resonated with me when um, I had a really dark time in my life and my therapist said to me that you feel anxious and you feel guilt and you feel these things because you're a good person and only good people feel those emotions and I know that we're all good people and the knowledge that we've sort of learned over this last week has shocked and saddened us and we feel this guilt because we can't imagine being complicit with something like this and um being ignorant to it and just idly carrying on with our lives the way that we have and those feelings are valid and everyone's feelings are valid in this and now it's time for us to to channel that guilt and to channel those feelings into active change and i hope that you guys are going to join me in like learning moving forward and also doing better um, I know that I have a plan set out for, for how I'm going to do things moving forward, which includes asking a lot more questions and, and standing strong with a lot of my beliefs, standing up to anyone in my family or my friends or anyone around me <clears throat> that says or speaks in a way that is completely out of line. That's something that I'm going to do. I'm going to use my voice in that way. And I'm also going to elevate as well and pass the mic often and continue to share the areas that I have shared with information and really thought-provoking reading. That's something that I'm really quite passionate about. It's been a heavy 2020 for everyone. COVID has been heavy. And um, today is a day where I feel ready to kind of um, channel those emotions into good and set about sort of bringing myself up again and um, allowing that guilt to be channeled into positivity and positive change. So I hope that that's okay and I am going to spend the day just really getting myself organized, getting myself back on the road, my new road, my new road that has a lot more um, conscience around it. Consciousness? Yeah, it's, I'm a lot more conscious around it, uh, I feel. I feel like my eyes are wide open and I have a lot more things to to, what's the word, um, consider when I'm doing these things and when I'm working, when I'm living, when I'm doing anything, just, just more things to consider. And this is a conversation that I plan to continue. So yeah, I hope that, um, I hope that you're all in the same sort of area that I'm in and let me know in the comments below how you're feeling and um, maybe anything that you're doing differently now. I'd love, love, love to hear things and tips that you can share for anyone else in like our community online with how you're planning on doing better or how you're planning on feeling better and doing things to get yourself back to feeling better but also the positive changes that you're going to be making moving forward. So 
yeah, I really just want this to be something that, that we can we can flip and make a positive for everybody in our lives, in our community, and, and do good with this and really sort of take the knowledge that we have and do better. First things first, I have obviously scrubbed myself to within an inch of my life today. I needed to just like wash. My hair was just gross. I went for a run yesterday and that was my first run in about five days and it was a hard run. I will tell you that it was hard. Both Ali and I were like, whew, it felt like our lungs were like, ugh and um, it was a bad time like I didn't do a good time on it or anything like that but we ran and we felt good for doing it and then I drank a bottle of wine well no I didn't drink a bottle of wine I had two I actually had one and a half glasses I didn't even finish the second glass um, and set about reading my book and just having a chilled one on the sofa Lumi has been her usual little scrumper dump she's just sat on the on the bed over there chilling she's been out all morning she's really got into this habit of going out sort of early morning and then running through the house when she comes in and just she just meows in my face she doesn't even Want anything from me like her food is there it's just like she's telling me mummy I'm home <laughs> I'm gonna start by making my bed after getting washed and scrubbed and um, I'm also going to be doing a fresh layer of fake tan I <laughs> Yeah, I really 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 want to do a fresh day of fake tan today do some beautiful makeup I'm gonna put on a beautiful dress I feel like I might wear because it's not the like nicest of weather the weather's turned here again And um, I think I'm gonna put on my blue long-sleeved Zimmerman dress because it's long-sleeved I don't necessarily wear it so much when it's really sunny and this is like the perfect weather for it I just want to feel like me So that's the first book call. I need to make my bed because you know how I feel about my bed If you haven't seen my tiktok on how I make my my bed um I'll just head over there because it's um yeah it's something I take very seriously basically just get organized got washing to do I want to cook some pasta sauce oh the robin is on the wally I love that I'm seeing robins in spring summertime I didn't I didn't even I feel like robins are only out on Christmas day so yeah that is the plan of action for today just um all of the things that make me make me feel good and these are little things that I kind of do um when I feel like I've lost control of things um I'm one of those people that I need to feel like I have a little bit of control of of things that I can control that was one of the the, the biggest lessons that my dad ever ever taught me um it was when I was going through a breakup with um um a boyfriend I think what was his name Tony and I was devastated and I moved away to live with him and my dad turned around to me and he was like Lydia you can't control a lot of things in life but you can control how you feel and what you do so focus on that and so that's what I'm doing today I'm focusing on how I feel and the things I can do to aid that and I hope that you're going to join me in this and um yeah, and I just, I'm sending you all my love, my whole community here online, I'm sending you all the biggest hug and the biggest love and um, from Lumi too. She's she's there. She's she's definitely saying that she loves you too. And yeah, so let's crack on. Crack on with the day. I'm going to be doing cooking. I've got lots to show you. Lots and lots to show you. Our new sofas are in. The living room is styled and finished. Finished to the Lydia sense of the word finished. And um, I can start planning on my next room. I need to tidy up my dressing room. I need to get dressed. I need to, I need, oh, I need to do lots of things. So um, yeah, let's get going. So first things first, let's make my bed. Making my bed is such a huge part of my day because um, it's important that I do that. Like just having a freshly made bed, probably gonna see all my fake tan stains on my towel. Making sure that my bed is made is part of my morning like ritual. And even though this one is sat on top of it, I'm still gonna make sure that it's crisp and ready for my weekend. Cause it's Saturday by the way. Did I tell you it was Saturday? It is Saturday. Ali is in the gym. We wanted to go for a run today, but the weather is not it. The weather is not it. If you don't know, I always spritz my bed with my Jo Malone linen spray. This is a tip that I got from my friend's mum. Now for the cushions. Voila! Yeah, 
okay, Thumper? You enjoying the bed? Good morning. Good morning. You're so beautiful. Oh, goodness me. Look at that. Look at that hair. I also need to uh, organise all of my beauty stuff. I Well, I don't need to organise it all, but I need to tidy it because it gets quite a lot... Well, when I'm in a rush and things and a lot's going on, this area can fall apart quite easily. Um, so, I have a little stockpile down here that I put all of my stuff down here to. Shall I do a face mask? Let's do a face mask. That is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do the By Terry Balm de Rose Hydrating Rose Mask. Let's do this together. Proper little, give myself a proper little zhuzh up. I have got the, the By Terry Balm de Rose Glowing Rose Mask and I do tr want to try that, but I'm also like a little bit scared. <laughs> um, Fuji Mist. go. Ali will be happy that I've tidied up. My husband ordered everything that we need to get our, oh I can never forget the, the, the name, the plants that are going to be climbing up the front of the house. Um, this is what our gardener is going to be putting in so that they can climb because they're honestly already reaching and just looking so fabulous. Sorry that my washing machine is already beeping. I feel like that's the, the noise in the background of all of my vlogs is my washing machine beeping. Let's sort that out. <laughs> One of the main things that I'm focusing on is staying hydrated a little bit more because when I feel like a little bit down in the dumps, my self-care for myself is always the first thing that goes. So I have to remember to refill my water bottle. I'll link it in the description box down below. Make sure I'm staying hydrated because that's the first thing is like my self-care just goes out the window. That was why going for a run yesterday was so important. Lots of water, although I am gonna have a coffee as well. I deserve another coffee. I always deserve coffee. Who doesn't deserve coffee? Babe, do you want a coffee? Oh, I feel like a new woman. I can't tell you what, a good scrub in the shower, a fresh layer of tan and some very lovely makeup does for me. I feel very, very happy. Um, my brows are actually starting to grow in as well, where they feel like, even though they're a lot bigger, they're not quite so patchy. So that's fabulous. I am putting on a fragrance that is lifting me up at the moment. This is the Erin Mediterranean Honeysuckle. Um, I don't think I have been as in love with a fragrance as much as I have this one since Amber Musk. Amber Musk is the fragrance that got me into to Erin. This, as a summer fragrance, is like, I always get drawn to like the coconutty fragrances for um, for like summer, and I feel like they're quite like, th that's quite a widely used fragrance when it comes to like summer and things like that, and I wanted something a little bit different. So what I'm doing at the moment is I'm actually layering a coconut body cream with this. And this is sweet, like it's got a really subtle sweet, so it's not like overpowering. You know those fragrances where you're like, oh, it's not like that. And um, oh, oh, I should also also say that I'm an Erin ambassador, by the way, just to be clear, but this isn't um, part of an ad with them at the moment. It's like really sophisticatedly sweet, but fresh at the same time. And it's just a really, really nice, different take on a summer fragrance. And I am obsessed. I've swapped over my Amber Musk lid onto this one. It has a blue lid usually, but it just looks better on my dressing table with this one because it matches the flowers. But I am obsessed and it's so like uplifting and beautiful. I just, I can't get enough of it. And you get like the citrusy fresh notes and then as it settles, you get this sweet, like beautifulness to the fragrance. And this has got to go down. Like I'd say Amber Musk and this one together, my faves, all time fave. Oh, and Tangier Vanille. Tangier Vanille is like more kind of smoky sweet, um, but quite like, it's one of those really strong ones. But this, oh, makeup is done. Fresh faced, I'm gonna get my pretty dress on and I'm gonna organize my house and, um, I'm with cough, so that's always good. I love cough. Ali's finished off in the gym, and um, I think it's brightening up a little bit outside, but I can never really tell. Is it, is it still raining? 
I feel like the clouds are dispersing and it feels, it feels good. The dress is on. I've got a really comfortable slip underneath it um, that's actually like a cami dress slip. Let me show you. One of my many wardrobe solutions that I keep in my wardrobe solution drawer. Um, it's just a little grey one there. Um, I know this is absolutely ridiculous putting on probably my most favourite dress to um, organise everything and sort out my house but honestly this is bringing me so much like joy and I feel great and I feel like there's not been many moments of that you know like when you get dressed up in the morning and you put on an outfit and you're like oh I feel amazing or I feel powerful um there's not been so much of that seeing as we haven't been going anywhere and so this is definitely just for me as a, a personal thing that makes me sort of happy and feel good so yeah, I, I completely acknowledge that it's probably very ridiculous, but what it brings me inside, that is the thing you can't see. But I'm going to start off by, first of all, getting rid of any flies that unfortunately haven't made it out of my windows. I am also going to um, just quickly zhuzh the dressing room, get it to a good place, and then I can leave it to do its thing and be happy and organised. Spend your time with me Looking for someone who can play though Wanna hang with me Dressing room Organised Oh, feels so good Ali's exceptional hoovering skills My job is the kitchen I'm gonna do all of the surfaces Just get everything Clean, give it a refresh I need to go and put my batteries on charge though They are not charged, I'll be right back I'm back <laughs> The weather does not know what is going on at the moment. It is raining, it's sunny, there's rainbows, there's blooming everything. I just, I can't keep up. Time to put on the pinny, which honestly, this makes me smile so much because the amount of messages that I got that was like, I didn't know I needed a pinny until I saw yours. I feel like I've mentioned this pinny a lot, but it gets, uh, even now it's got so much rubbish all over it because I use it so, so much. I love a practical present from my bestie. <sighs> time for a clean. I don't really need a new friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me. I'm not really looking for a friend. Look at this nut job. Look at him. What? The, what on earth? Out of nowhere, the heavens have opened and highlighted that our gutter is also broken. Look at that. Oh wow, there's thunder and lightning. <gasps> what are you doing? Wow, that's amazing. You crazy, crazy man. Unreal. I just went to refresh one of the bedrooms and found Lumi asleep on the spare bed, like covered or cuddled up and looking cute and just looking at me like, what? <laughs> but what I use to like refresh curtains and like sofas, because we obviously have a lot of slip covers as well, we take them off to wash them, but sometimes they don't really need like a full wash. And this is where I tend to spend money on nicer like um, fabric conditioners and I love the Dalesford lavender one it is so beautiful so what I do is I pop it in one of my refillable spray bottles and um, dilute it with a little bit of water I need to add a little bit more to this one so I'm gonna pop you there I literally just pour it in um, you can do it with any any fabric conditioner that you like but I just like it to like spritz curtains and cushions and things like that that maybe need a little bit of a a little bit of a zhuzh, a little bit of a refresh um, and so I always use like my most bougie fabric conditioner which Dalesford is I don't use it on all of my um, wow that lightning was intense Wow! I don't use it on all of my like washing loads or anything like that because that would be very expensive. When um, the refill market opens up nearby, like the refill supermarket, I think they're getting a refill section, I hope they are. I'm gonna be getting my usual kind of fabric conditioners and things like that from there. Generally, I use a like more affordable fabric conditioner and things like that. Obviously, our Mila has built-in uh, like detergent 
but for the fabric conditioners I take it quite seriously I like special smells but I use a more affordable one and then for the bed sheets is when I use the um, Dalesford one because it's lavender it works really nicely but also it's expensive so I tend to keep it for, for the bed sheets when you get into bed I am mid putting on a little bit of picky bits for us Ali needs to go to the shop so I can make so I can make our pasta sauce for tonight but I haven't shown you in here this room is all sorted now. Um, I did actually vlog it all when the, like the sofas arrived and moving them out and everything. It was it was just during a time when I probably shouldn't have been vlogging and I d it didn't feel right for me that that content went out because it was all very quite emotional. This is the room pretty much finished now. I mean, I'm I'm pretty much happy with this. Well, no, I am happy other than the art that needs to go either side of the alcoves. I'm having one piece here. So there'll be one sort of big piece here and then two smaller pieces like accent pieces there. Um, I'm, I'm literally really excited to get to work on them because I think that you guys are really going to like them as well. The new cushions are out. So we have a mix of the Sewn by Bee striped cushions and then we also have the Paloma Living cushions as well. I love them. I love the way they draw in the blacks. This area is going to be a work in progress. I'm just not forcing it. And as I find the right pieces, if I'm like out at an antique, shop when I'm allowed or when I'm shopping at the old flight house if I find the right pieces I'm gonna buy them for this area but I'm just not forcing it because I want everything to be sort of as I want it with things that mean something the books that I want to go in here I want to find some old like leather bound editions of books that I loved as a child you know things like um, the Beatrix Potter books and um, Yes, exactly. You're very upset by all of the, the noise that's going on outside, aren't you? You are very, very uncomfortable. Oh, she's hot. she hides under the sofas. Bless her look. <laughs> You'll be safe under there, Lummy. And the Velveteen Rabbit and Thumbelina and all of those, but I don't know why, but I, they just, they were magic for me as a kid. And I would love to have some like beautiful old editions of those. So I'm gonna search for them. Um, just to have them in my house would be lovely. I don't actually have the ones from my childhood, unfortunately, but um, yeah, so that's just a work in progress. And I'm gonna make a start on um, the new study next door. I've kind of parked the bedroom for a while because finding a bed is just so hard. So I think I'm, I think what I'm gonna have to do is sort of like design my own bed and then have it made. So that's a work in progress and I'm not rushing it, like I said. So I've parked it, I can, I can get to work on the study. This room is so cozy and so lovely. And basically what we do is we pull these um, Ottomans, these little puffets or puffs, whatever you call them, puff, puff, puffet, puffet, puff. I, I always thought it was puffet, but we pull them in front of one of the sofas and we make like a big bed on the sofa and it's really lovely. We did it the other night and it was just, oh, such a dream. My old sofas from in here, we've moved um, like one three seater and two armchairs downstairs and then the other one is in storage. I've got like a storage lot now, which is good for the sofas because we're, we're, we're planning on getting like other houses and stuff like that, that I don't wanna have to buy sofas when I've got them. Ali thinks I'm mental because um, he says it's gonna cost me double the price of a sofa to keep them in storage, but it just seems pointless to me. So they have, well, some of them are going to um, storage next week. They're actually in what will be the study. Yeah, I'm over the moon with this room. It's like, a, it gives me a kind of Neptune vibe, but with a little bit of me in there. And I quite like that. And then also I've obviously taken inspiration um, from Stephen, Cordoni, I always get his name wrong and he's so lovely and we speak all the time and I get his name wrong and I feel so bad. So I'm just gonna call him Steve. Me and Steve, we go way back. <laughs> but um, I'm obviously heavily inspired by his sort of styling and things like that. But I make it my own, which I really, like I, I really enjoy. Ali is gonna go out and pick up some veg. I need to check what I need. I think we need carrots and I think, oh no, maybe I don't need carrots. Oh no, I don't need carrots, that's good. Do I need peppers? Yes, I'm gonna need peppers. And I think that's it. I'm gonna get all of the ingredients out for our pasta sauce. This is one that we make in our Thermomix, which is so easy and like just, oh, it tastes delicious. And it's completely like veggie and it's just yum. Yeah, that's kind of the plan of action. I also don't know if I showed you this this morning. Um, I think maybe I did, but I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that I've vlogged and then I've just kind of not, used the footage so I don't know what I've told you but look at these guys 
I just can't deal with how amazing they look. These are my watercress. This is for Ali's egg and cress sandwiches. And then um, we've got some chives in here, which I think chives are always really useful to have. Oh my goodness, look at that mound. That's an actual mound of hailstones. I can't believe it. But the garden needs a water, so it'll be very, very happy. Although I'm slightly worried about my roses. But these guys are coming on well. Look at Basil. He's doing great, my little sprutlings. And I like it when um, some of you guys message me and you're like, look at my sprutlings. <laughs> These guys are coming on well as well. My little mint plants, enjoying having a little bit of mint tea every now and again. Time to get sort of organized with how I'm gonna be cooking this evening and see what I need Ali to pick up from the plow. So that's what I'm gonna do. I am now cooking. The sun is out and I get to use some little leaves from my fresh basil and it's making me very happy. For the first time I'm using fresh herbs from my garden or kitchen. Don't want to take too many. I don't want to hurt him. That will do. <laughs> I don't want to like, he looks so naked. <laughs> Good morning you. What are you doing in the window? That's very high. That's very high, Lummy. You doing neighborhood watch? Yes, give a little rub to the pheasant. Oh dear. Well, we ended up having a lovely pasta dish last night and we did two bottles of rosé between the two of us. I didn't pick up my vlogging camera once, but it was delicious and I very much enjoyed getting back to cooking. I then, despite having drank two bottles of wine. I got up this morning and I was like, I felt rough to begin with, but I got up, I put my gym kit on and I went and did 6K and that's probably like the first time that I really felt like I, like I pushed through the point where you think, oh my God, I'm getting tired. I pushed through that and then I was just gliding. It was lovely. Whereas when we did the run on Friday, everything just felt heavy. And so it was really good to feel back, like feel back to my sort of fitness again and feeling good and starting my day that way. So it was good. I think we're gonna have like a chilled, chilled out, relaxed day. And um, I might do a little bit of like organizing and that kind of thing. But other than that, I think it's gonna be a very lovely chilled Sunday. And I think that's really important. But I am gonna go and get myself in the shower because I feel disgusterous and I want to just, I, I might even put a little bit of makeup on because, you know, I put makeup on yesterday and I felt great doing it, so I'm gonna do it again today. I cannot believe this. This arrived in 15 minutes. The Sunday meal to end all Sunday meals other than a roast, of course. We've ordered in some Domino's to ease our hangovers and fill our tummies and we are just about ready to scooch Lumi over. Oh yeah, you, you, you hogging the sofa, little sausage pie. And we're gonna basically move all of these in front of here. We're gonna make the biggest, snuggliest, comfiest bed. And we're gonna maybe even light the fire because it's pretty miserable outside today. But snuggle down and enjoy a very, very cozy Sunday together. Are you happy about that, Lummy? Are you happy? People get very angry when you aren't in my vlogs. They're like, where's Lummy? Where is she? The star of the show, the apple of my eye. And w you're so weird that you're sitting like that. Like, look, I can wobble you. What are you doing, you, s you silly sausage? You silly sausageini. You been a good girl. Good girl. <laughs> You're enjoying that, babe? I'm leaning over to save any spillage. Yeah, don't, I can't believe we're eating pizza in the lounge, to be honest. Oh my God, I can hear my tummy. It's like blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I know, I've just completely demolished that pizza there. We have got cookies for later. Obviously Domino's is not doing gluten-free pizzas at the moment, they're not on their menu. It's gonna be gluten tummy for me. But now, once my husband finishes his food, he is going to. Make a bed for us, isn't he? Duvet day! Happy little duvet day. Get this bed all set up, ready for a snuggle fest. Ready? 
Go. I'll sit here and watch. No. Alright, ready? Watch your head on the line. What? Oh, to me? To you? No, okay. To me? To you? To me? To me? To you? To me? To you? <laughs> That's what you said. No. To me or to you? To you. To me. <laughs> to you. All the blankies. Should we just put these two out again? I have my And then that one I'll swap for you. Yeah. I feel like I need to tell a story about this. Because considering we've actually got it out, so. <laughs> this is, what's it called? Thuragun. The Thuragun. Or the ray gun. Or the ray gun. I don't know. I'm I don't sure. know. And I think it's Thuragun, but I'm not sure. Basically, they contacted me and I knew that Ali wanted one of these. And they contacted me and they were like, would you like to try one out? And I was like, I don't know about for me, but I know that my husband has non-stop been talking about these. And so they sent it to me and I and he, he obviously I gave it to him as a present. But it was in one of those clips where it never makes it to a vlog. Like, I film so much that it never makes it to vlogs. Um, but I gave it to him. And I really wanted to feature him using it. But the only time he uses it is when he's naked. <laughs> that looks like a tool that you should use when you're naked. <laughs> but it's not. What does it do? Um... It just helps open up the... No, it doesn't. Uh, no, it does. It helps open up the the mus muscles after you've worked out. It helps oh. press them in. What were you thinking? <laughs> so, I think it's it's really good for removing lactic acid. Right. So, once you've trained, you give it a good pump, 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 pump. Essentially, it's like a, a massage, I guess. Yeah, um, kind of like a deep tissue massage. It is exactly that. Oh, don't and then that it helps get rid of lactic acid as well as, obviously, you can get different heads for them. So this one head here is for experienced users, but there's also a slightly smaller head to start you off. <laughs> and then that, the smaller head- I like that your head's not even in the shot. The smaller head obviously would be really good for like getting into like the little nooks and crannies. So like, if you wanted to get like... <laughs> you just want to laugh so badly. If you were to want to get into something that was like a little bit more like to the point, then you'd use a more pointy head. Well, I think it's really good for like my legs and stuff after we run. Yeah. But unless I'm like really aching, I forget to use it. Yes. So he kind of uses it when he really, really needs to use it. But you really like it, don't you? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. And lots of people are like, oh, I really wanted to try one of those. They look so good. And Ali's always like, yeah, yeah, it's really good. Enjoying using it, so but also I use it to um, smack his bottom. Ah. When I'm naked. Yeah, when he's naked. Billy Ned in the living room, ready for Snuggle Fest. Ready for old Jeffrey. Who's Jeffrey? Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna watch the Jeffrey Epstein documentary tonight, which I'm looking forward to, and I'm gonna jump. On here. Ugh. Um, excuse me. No cookies for Lummy. You little cookie monster. You are you little little cookie monster. All oh, of the you... snacks. Oh, you sneeze in my face. <laughs> Why does she always sneeze mm. when she wakes up? Does Daddy get in your face all the time, Lummy? Oh, pop it. We've had a big family snuggle, haven't we? What a lovely Sunday. How do you feel if I went off to chew? With your cat breath. <laughs> She's got proper cat breath, hasn't she? You ready for bed, Lummy? Ready for bed? Come on. She's like... I don't want taxi to bed anymore. Yeah, we. Call, I don't know if we've ever told you this, but we we call when we take Lummy. Yeah, she knows. She's like, bed. yeah. As soon as we said bed, she's like, I don't want taxi to bed. Yeah. Little mouth. <laughs> it's taxi to bed, Lummy. We call it her taxi. I'm taxi to bed. Good girl. Oh, Bedtime. Come on. She's like, no. <laughs> 
resistance. These are the leftovers of our snacks. Uh, four Domino's cookies have um, been demolished. These are my socks that were keeping my feet warm. I always have my tape measure because I'm always looking at stuff online. Um, I did a little Liberty London order this evening, which I'll show you hopefully in my next vlog. Um, and I've just been measuring bits and bobs. And then we've got a new delivery of the Good Cookie Co. Um, and Ali's been eating those. I'm not really like a fruit cookie kind of person. Um, but Ali says that they, these are absolutely delicious. So he's been demolishing those. We're going to put all of the puffets and um, everything back as it should be. And then we're going to head to bed ready for... A day at work tomorrow. It is Monday tomorrow. We are back on it. You are going to be watching this video tomorrow. I know usually all of my videos... Oh my gosh, look how shiny we are. <laughs> that is a glow. <laughs> usually you're watching my videos like a hell of a lot in advance, but obviously I've um, popped together the week before's vlog and this sort of last few days and um, popped that together and kind of done away with everything in between because... Um, I wanted to come back with some really like uplifting content. Just get back to doing what I do. So um, yeah, we're gonna finish off our duvet day in bed with some snugs and an early night. Early? Half 10? Well, Not that early. I guarantee you'll still sit on your phone for half an hour. No, I promise I won't. I've got to get up at tomorrow at like six. Anyway, let's get this back to normal. Leftover Lumi cat biscuit. <laughs> you go and do the uh, cushions in the bedroom. I'll cushions in the bedroom. Okay, all right, you put it back together. Right, I'm still looking shiny, but I'm shiny and makeup free. I am going to jot down everything that I've got to do tomorrow for my Monday morning, and I'm going to leave the vlog here. I will um, hopefully see you guys in my next video, and um, yeah, I'm gonna get some sleepies. <laughs>